Hello everyone, and in this part I'm going to show you how to stop your glass from being a consumable, which means you're going to completely stop the glass from cracking or chipping or anything like that. Now, this method that I'm going to show you I've been using for a few thousand hours now and I mean nothing's happened so far, something could could happen down the track, but it, it's worked so far and I haven't had to buy a glass bed for this printer. I did buy a glass bed for the other printer though before I started doing this method. So what I've got, I've left this printer to get as dirty as possible so that I can make this video. And I, I actually did a successful print on this because I just wanted to see like how dirty it can get before you know stuff starts going wrong. So what I've got is I've just got the normal standard uh, glass bed and I've actually bought capped on tape and what I do is I just stick that over the bed and that stops the the glass being directly connected to the print so when the print is completed it doesn't actually like talk because when it cools down separately it cools down separate temperatures from the bed and then they like separate and that's what kind of causes the pits or the chips and with the tape, what happens is actually the tape lifts off. So it's not actually taking glass. So first thing, you want to just... Uh, i got to figure out what that noise is as well. Uh, I just take out this, your little bin thing that I don't know, I don't know how many people use. And then um, the best spot for it is, uh, for the extruder is basically in the home position. Oh man, my super awesome GoPro mount is failing. Alright, so this is what it looks like, you know, dirty. You can actually, what happens is, you can actually clean. You don't have to take the Kaplan tape off every time. You can actually clean the glue off. But sometimes when the Kaplan tape does get pulled off by the print, um, then you will have to redo it. So as you can see... I was going to pause this part, but I'll just fast forward it. As you can see, I'm just taking the tape off. The, the more glue you have on it, the harder it is. And the glue, and I'm just taking a look at the bed. It's still good as new. Now, after I do take this off, I do wash down the the plate. This can be tricky sometimes. I don't know if that's capped on tape or not. No, that's not capped on tape. So what I've done is I've had the capped on tape on before, right? So I showed you the after shot of after printing a few months with the capped on tape on and not cleaning it. I don't recommend that. Always, um, I replace it usually within 10 prints because what happens is, as you can see, this doesn't actually have capped on tape under it. So what I've done is I've printed a model, I've pulled the model off the plate, and then what's happened is the model has taken a bit of tape with it. And instead of replacing that capped on tape, I just kind of... So I do actually print on the glass sometimes, depending on depending on your laziness level. If, if it does take some capped on tape, you can redo that row, I guess, but uh, I just kind of don't bother. So now I'm just going to clean that off. What I usually do is I just get a rag to wet. I get a rag to wet the glass bed, but I don't think I'll do that because there's quite a bit of quite a bit of glue on it at the moment.
with the other big chunks off as gently as I can. Oh, there is a bit of caps on tape under that. Oh, awesome. So yeah, these little spots don't have caps on tape because, yeah, I was lazy to replace it when when the print took it off. Now, as you can see, that's all been finished. I've all I've cleaned it all up. There's no pits or anything in my plate, which is awesome to see, which means the tape has been working. And now I'll just show you how I reapply. So I take this tape, this capped on tape. I'm not sure the size, it doesn't really matter. And I just kind of stretch it out. One second, I cut it roughly. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. I cut roughly a length of the plate. There's some water droplets on it, but it shouldn't matter. And then what I do is, I kind of just gently stick it down and I go from the middle and I work my way up. And then when I get to the top, I work my way out. Oh, look at that. There's a few air bubbles there, but pretty perfect. And basically, I just make my way up all the way to the top. Pretty much that simple. The only hard part is lining up each bit of tape, which can be difficult sometimes. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can have gaps. have a go at this and it's really hard to see because the tape is yellow and the bed is yellow so oh boy there's some streaks going just pull it off and then redo it when if you get some mistakes like that and work your way from the middle outwards in uh, so like you work your way middle upwards and then once you've got the middle down then you work your way from the middle outwards and it kind of that usually works so see I'm gonna work my way from the middle up as I go I'm just gonna oh, that noise just like that and there's pretty good results if you do get air bubbles you can always just pop the air bubbles with something just press down pop it and then push out the air bubble there is no air bubbles there. I've done this a few times, so I'm getting lucky. So what I normally do is I I just tape a bit of the tape on the body of the printer, and then I just pull it out the length that I need. And I guess each time. Just like that, work your way up from the middle. You can do it in any different way, really. There's no, there's no set way to do it. <clears throat> and then, depending on if you print all the way to your, oh man, this is not gonna work with the GoPro. That is horrible. I was trying to find the best spot for it, but I'm just gonna leave it. And we'll see what we can get out of it. Depending if you print all the way to the edges, that that's how you're going to tape it, really. I don't usually print all the way to the back edge. So I get this thinner tape, this thinner capped on tape. And I, I use that for the last bit. Oh, no. I hate when it folds over on itself. It's just a waste. That's my mistake. Just like that. Alright. And then, it, it's going to be a bit, it is usually a bit awkward because um, I did take the front part of my printer off with the screen part as you can see the plastic usually ends here so I took all that off to make it less awkward but what normally happens is I've, I usually have a hand over the top and a hand from here and that's how I do it with the plastic bit in here but just so you guys can see it a bit better I, I took it off and that's pretty much it and then 
once you you're ready to start printing you, I just put a light layer of glue over the top and also sometimes some of the air bubbles will disappear <laughs> 